Hopefully Matt has his sunscreen on because that sun is beating down out there and it's going to be like that again for tomorrow and even getting into Saturday. Definitely worthy of sunscreen as you can burn within about 15 to 25 minutes with that UV index up to an eight. We're seeing tons of sunshine right now looking out from our Aguam sky cam. We're up to 80 degrees as we take a look at the radar. There are some showers flaring up off to our east and our northeast. Any showers that have been trying to come into our area have fallen apart well before they got here. Even if the radar does show some rain showers trying to come through. They're not going to hit the ground. The air is way too dry, so it looks like that's going to be the trend even tomorrow and Saturday, even though there's a cold front coming through Saturday. It's just not looking good for any kind of wet weather, which isn't the best news. We could actually use a little rain at this point. Taking a look at your 24. We're just partly cloudy to mostly sunny through the rest of the day. We'll have fair skies through the first part of tonight, mostly clear actually for a few hours overnight. So temperatures will drop back down through the 50s and then we get towards sunrise and more clouds come in with another upper level disturbance. I think temperatures will drop into the upper 40s, low 50s for most of us to start off our day. And while the future cast tries to show a shower or two around sunrise, just like today, I don't think much, if anything, even reaches the ground. So you can probably count on a dry morning. I don't expect us to see any wet weather tomorrow. We'll see partly cloudy skies for a few hours. Then we'll go completely sunny as we get closer to noon. At that point, temperatures really start to climb fast. We're going to get up to about 80 degrees not long afternoon, and then we'll hover in the low to mid 80s straight through the afternoon with a few fair weather clouds here and there, but overall looking pleasant and very summer-like. High pressure is still going to help to keep things very dry out there. Even though we have some upper level systems passing through, the dry air wins out and beats out any chance for wet weather. Temperatures again rising fast tomorrow, especially once we get rid of the cloud cover and we'll jump back into the mid 80s. It will be breezy at times Friday afternoon, wind out of the west at 10 to 20 miles an hour, kind of like what we're dealing with right now. Saturday and Sunday also a little brisk from time to time, especially during the afternoon. Wind could get up to 15 or 20 miles an hour, more out of the north and west Saturday and northerly breezes on Sunday. And while these three days look fairly similar in terms of wind, it's not going to be so much for the temperatures. Saturday is still going to be a warm day. Highs will be in the middle to upper 70s through the hill towns, coming back to around 80 for the lower valley, some 70s out toward Boston province. Nice day overall. I think we'll be kind of cloudy in the morning and then we'll get a bit more sunshine in the afternoon. Looking dry too. Then on Sunday, turning a lot cooler. Highs will be back to the 60s for Western Mass. I think Springfield could end up around 70, 72 in Hartford 66 out toward Boston 68 in province. So if you're taking mom out to brunch, maybe you're doing something outside. Just be aware it is going to be a little bit chillier than it has been the last couple of days. So while I'm basically taking away the chance for rain over the next three days, we're going out to next Tuesday for our next decent shot at something. Looks like another cold front will come through Tuesday afternoon and evening might bring us some scattered showers, but at this point it's too far out to know for sure. So at the moment it is trending fairly dry seasonable temperatures continue into early next week. We'll cool off behind that front for Wednesday and Thursday. We're back to warm temps on Friday with another round of showers and a few thunderstorms Friday night into early Saturday. Chris, back to you.